Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Hanson here. So now we're going to work on our religion. So we will need our religion book. And we are going to need crayons. And we are also at the end, you guys can color our Jesus picture that is in your packet that I sent home. So we are going to turn to page 204, 204 in your religion book. And it looks just like this. It says the Lord's Prayer at the top. It's page 204. So if you guys need to pause it and get there, you guys can do that now. And when you guys are ready, we can start. Okay. We're going to do our prayer. So right hand up. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, you guys can repeat after me. God. Please be in my heart. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we are talking about Jesus praying, and that was, that's what our chapter is about. So, when Jesus was showing, or when Jesus was praying, what was he doing? He was showing us how to pray. So remember we talked about yesterday, the little boy Will didn't have anybody to talk to. But God and Jesus are always listening to us. So Jesus, when Jesus was here on earth, he was showing the people how to pray to God. He said, God is always listening to us. So if you need to talk to God or if you need to pray to God, we can do that at any time, anywhere, right? So Jesus wanted to show us how to pray. So he taught us a prayer. So I'm going to read this a little bit. It says, Jesus taught us the prayer on our page on 204. He taught us this prayer. We can pray these words when we pray with other people and when we pray by ourselves. So what we are going to do is, Mrs. Hansen, you guys know this prayer too. When Mrs. Hansen says a line, then you are going to say a line. So this is, here is a prayer that Jesus taught us. So this is what page we're on. This is our the Lord's Prayer. It's also called the Our Father. So we're going to pray just like we would. So ready? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to read a line and then you guys read a line. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So Jesus taught us this prayer because he wanted to teach us how to pray and what we need to say. And what we, what we, we don't need to say a prayer all the time. We could just say whatever we're feeling or whatever we're thinking in our head or whatever we want to pray for. But he wanted to also give us prayers so then we could pray these prayers when we needed to. So, where did Jesus say that we could pray? Do we have a specific point or spot that we need to pray? No, we can pray everywhere. We can pray everywhere and anywhere. So, wherever you are, you have the ability to go inside your head, or you can say them out loud, and do your, say your prayers or talk to God or Jesus, right? So, Remember when Monsignor talked about in Mass about the Lord's Prayer and he wanted us to think about each part of the Our Father or the Lord's Prayer? This is the prayer that he was talking about. So I know that was a while ago when we were in Mass, but it was right before we um, started doing home learning. And he talked about um, listening to each part and what it meant. So um, when we're saying it, I want you guys to think, what does that mean? Why, why are we um, asking, you know, why do we say our father? Why do we say this? You know, like, what do the different parts mean? So while we're, 
while we're saying the Our Father or the Lord's Prayer, I want you guys to think about that, okay? So I told you guys to get your crayons out. So what we are going to do right here, it says the Lord's Prayer. You guys are going to color that. And I want to make sure you guys are at least using five colors, okay? So I want it colorful and bright. And um, you guys can do designs, whatever you guys want to do. But at least use five colors while you're coloring the words that say the Lord's Prayer. Um, and with that, after we are done, you guys can color your Jesus picture. And what it says at the top, it says, Jesus showed us how to pray. You can see he's sitting here on a rock. It looks like there's some flowers. He has his eyes closed, his hands folded, and he's kind of looking up in heaven where God is, right? So um, you don't always have to close your eyes. You don't always have to look up. But that's one of the things like we know when people are praying when they look like that, right? So with that, you guys are going to just color your words, um, your letters in the Lord's Prayer. You guys can color your sheet. And um, we're going to end. And we're going to do the Our Father again, okay? Or the Lord's Prayer. So if you guys want to repeat after me, or you guys can say it with me, that's okay. Right hand up. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So sometimes you might hear different words in the Lord's Prayer, which this one has a couple different ones that I don't, um, I'm not used to saying. So that's why Mrs. Hansen kind of watched and looking at the prayer. Because sometimes there's different words that, um, different variations or ver versions of the same prayer. And it doesn't matter which one you say or how you say it. As long as you are talking at, to God or Jesus and taking the time to do the prayer, it doesn't really matter if you miss a word or say a different word. That's okay. Because I know sometimes we might hear different prayers from different um, people or different versions, and that's okay. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. All right, guys. I hope you guys are practicing your prayers and taking time each day to do that when you have time or whenever you get a chance. Because remember, we can pray whenever and wherever. So I hope you guys had a, um, like that. And I hope you guys get to enjoy the pretty day. It's so, supposed to get even warmer today and rain later today. So if you guys get a chance to go outside and play and enjoy the nice spring day. All right, guys. Bye. I'll talk to you soon.